Hey everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be installing the timing belt and getting our static injection pump timing set. So we have all of our bolts torqued with the exception of the tensioner roller and the camshaft. Now the camshaft is not keyed so this is this is what you want when you're setting the timing belt. After the timing belt's on then we'll torque this down as a pressure fit but uh, that is a key key step in getting all the slack out of the belt. We have our injection pump pinned and our camshaft lock installed. So you want to make sure that you are at TDC. Make sure these two cam lobes on number one are generally pointing upward. Okay, because it can be 180 out and this lock will still go in. So we're gonna go ahead and fish the belt on and go from hey there. Hey guys, our timing belt is on. All of our bolts are torqued, okay? This bolt here torques to 81 foot-pounds, 33, 33, 33. The tensioner, I typically uh, just use a wrench on that one. Uh, I've done this long enough to where I can just kind of feel it. And what you want to achieve, you want to get it tight enough to where you can still, still twist it. Uh, anything tighter can cause uh, some damage to your injection pump and that's not what we want. We don't want to do that, so. But uh, a note here, before you torque your cam, make sure you take the, take the lock out, okay? And you want to just kind of roll it over and recheck. Make sure that your injection, all, all, your, all your locks go in like it's supposed to. So now we're going to go ahead and start this... Uh, Start the static timing for that. We're gonna have to take out this center bolt here, and I'll show you guys the uh, the dial indicator that we have to use to uh, to get this guy in time. All right, everybody, we got our belt on. All of our bolt, bolt support. I've already rolled this over twice to check, make sure your pin goes back in and your cam lock, so you know you stay in time. A uh, little tip, when you're installing a timing belt, you can't see it because it's rolled over, but make sure that you can read the writing on the belt, you know, as you're looking at it, because anytime you have to take the belt off for maintenance, you know, prematurely, if you got to do a water pump or something like that, you, you know, you got to take all this off. So make sure you can read the writing, that way you, rem it's easy to remember the orientation of the belt. If you put it on backwards, it's going to break. Same thing goes for serpentine belts, V belts on pretty much any car. So if you do that, it's just a little easy thing. You make that a habit, then you won't put any belts on backwards or you won't have to put brand new belts if it's only been 10, 20,000 miles, whatever. So just remember that and make sure you roll it over twice, two revolutions, and ensure that your marks line up. So we've got our digital or our dial indicator installed. Our motor is still at TDC. The pin for the injection pump is still installed. There's a two and a half millimeters of preload that you're supposed to go ahead and put on the gauge as it goes in. Go ahead and take out your pin and turn the engine counterclockwise until the gauge stops moving. Right there. Okay. Now come around. Zero your gauge. Turn the engine back to TDC. Okay, so we can see a 
have about 0.71 millimeters on the gauge. Our standard setting is 0.86 plus or minus 0.02 millimeters and our improved performance is at 0.98. So I think we're going to adjust it pretty cl closer to the improved performance specification. So now, we're going to rotate the pump. Two hands. There we go. Right, we're gonna get that a little bit closer. Point nine eight. About right there. Now at this point. Go ahead and tighten down your bolts very carefully. And torque your three injection pump bolts to 18 foot pounds, and you're done. Set your belt timing and your static timing. So we're gonna go ahead and continue on, get injectors in here with new heat shields, and get these lines on, get this valve cover on, and really seal up this motor. All right guys, as you can see, we're making some pretty decent progress. Uh, it's gonna go in the car pretty soon, it looks like. We're still working on a uh, AC delete budget AC delete on this thing but I think we got that kind of kind of figured out now so stay tuned and before you know it this thing is going to be in the car running like a champ all right everybody it looks like uh, the only thing left is to put it in the car